there are a number of ways in which organic molecules react with each other and we typically divide these reactions into four categories. The first of which is the combustion or oxidation reaction in which any alkane combusts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water in an exothermic reaction, meaning a reaction that gives off heat. This is the reaction that we use in burning most fossil fuels. The second type of reaction is called an addition reaction and an addition reaction is a reaction in which an unsaturated compound, unsaturated referring to a compound here that contains either double or triple bonds, is combined with some small molecule to form a saturated compound, again saturated here referring to a molecule that only contains single bonds. The first type of addition reaction is known as hydrogenation. Hydrogenation is the addition of hydrogen to an unsaturated compound. The second type is halogenation, where a halogen is added to an unsaturated compound, the halogens here being the group 17 elements, those being fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. The third type of addition reaction is hydrohalogenation, where a hydrogen halide is added to an unsaturated compound. And finally, there is a hydration reaction in which a water molecule is added to an unsaturated compound and that water molecule is then broken up into a hydroxyl group and a separate hydrogen. We use Markovnikov's rule to determine where the hydrogen and where the halogen or where the hydroxyl and where the hydrogen are placed on those newly saturated molecules. The second type, the third type of organic reaction is then the elimination reaction which in many ways is the reverse of the addition reaction where here we start with a saturated compound and end with an unsaturated compound and some small molecule. The first type being dehydrogenation, which is the removal of a hydrogen molecule. Dehydrohalogenation, which is the removal of a hydrogen halide. And dehydration, which is the removal of a water molecule. And finally cracking, which is essentially when a long chain alkane is broken into either an alkane and an alkene or an alkane, a number of alkenes and a hydrogen molecule. These reactions are governed by Zeitseff's rule to determine where the hydrogen ion is removed from the organic molecule. The fourth and final type of organic reaction is a substitution reaction. This is where there is no change between a molecule being saturated or unsaturated. Um, all that changes is that an atom or a group is replaced by another atom or a group. Typical examples here include a hydroxyl group that is replaced by a halogen group and vice versa. What is very important to remember with all these organic reactions is that in many ways the names are explanatory or self-explanatory in that hydrogenation would suggest that we are adding hydrogen. The difficult part in this section is to remember the specific conditions that are required for each of these reactions to take place.